Evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Jason Zimmerman. The mild weather hasn't cooperated for many hoping to be out on the ice this weekend for the Sturgeon Spearing opener, but that didn't stop the celebration in Fond du Lac where the Sturgeon Spectacular attracted quite a crowd, even with activities being moved away from Lake Winnebago to the city's downtown district. New at 530, Jamal James caught up with those making the best of this year's event. For those that couldn't go out Sturgeon Spearing due to the unusual weather this season, a lot of them actually came out to the Sturgeon Spectacular here in Fond du Lac. This event takes place to get folks to discover different restaurants and shops downtown while having loads of family activities. For some, they were just happy they could still pull it off. With the warm conditions and it not being as cold and like not as much snow and ice um, as normal, I think Fond du Lac festivals really did a great job in pulling this event off and still having it be a winter themed thing. That doesn't mean there weren't small changes to the event due to the weather, like putting ice sculptures under the shade so the sun doesn't melt it away. There were snow contests to a Bloody Mary contest and a live performance with still many more left to do. So overall, from the workers to the volunteers to the people that attended, the one thing that I've overheard is that a lot of people had a pretty good time, saying that they'll be back next year. Reporting from Fond du Lac, Jamal James, Action 2 News. Even though a lot of people are sitting this year's sturgeon spearing season out because of the thin ice, those who did make it out safely to spear are encouraged to send us those sturgeon pictures. These photos could be featured either on air or online. Just be careful while spearing during the 16-day season. If you are interested, you can submit your photos at WBAY.com slash photos.